This is the new, advanced design of the Lilium Jet, a design able to deliver the performance requirements while meeting certification standards. This improved aircraft configuration features numerous new design elements, including an optimized fuselage, running landing gear, and winglets on the canard. However, the most important changes were made to the propulsion system and the battery cell technology. All these improvements contribute to superior performance and customer benefits. This is the advanced engineering behind the Lilium Jet. Before anything else, I'd like to clarify whether or not it is correct to call the Lilium Jet a jet aircraft. Some of you believe this aircraft should not be labeled as a jet. According to Wikipedia, a jet aircraft is an aircraft propelled by jet engines. A jet engine is a type of reaction engine discharging a fast-moving jet that generates thrust by jet propulsion. The term jet engine typically refers to an internal combustion air-breathing jet engine such as a turbojet, turbofan, ramjet or pulse jet. Jet propulsion is a practical application of Isaac Newton's third law of motion, which states that, for every force acting on a body there is an opposite and equal reaction. For aircraft propulsion, the body is atmospheric air that is caused to accelerate as it passes through the engine. The force required to give this acceleration has an equal effect in the opposite direction, acting on the device producing the acceleration. Jet reaction is definitely an internal phenomena, and does not, as is frequently assumed, result from the pressure of the jet on the atmosphere. In fact, any jet propulsion engine, whether water jet, rocket, or turbo jet, is a piece of equipment designed to accelerate a stream of air or gas and expel it at high velocity. This means, technically, Lilium's aircraft is in fact, a jet aircraft. The electric ducted jet engines are one of Lilium's core technologies. They have many performance advantages compared to open propeller systems. I strongly recommend watching my previous video on the Lilium jet, where I explain the concepts behind the key design elements that make this aircraft unique. In this new configuration, the diameter of the ducted fans was increased by 10%. This allowed Lilium to reduce the number of engines from 36 to 30 and maintain the total thrust and efficiency required. The modification simplifies the design, reduces weight and maintenance cost, while providing greater flight stability. Fewer engines mean a reduction in the total part counts and the respective complexity of the aircraft. The ratio canard to main wing engines went from 1 to 2 for the 36 engine version to 2 to 3 for the 30 engine version. The larger diameter of the fans also enables the use of more acoustic damping in the ducts and gives the Lilium jet an even lower noise signature. The shape of the fuselage was optimized to save on weight. The main wing position was rearranged and winglets were added to the canard. These improvements, while making the whole aircraft behave better and fly more efficiently, are only possible by the use of computational tools that simulate real flight conditions. The results are calibrated and validated by wind tunnel testing and real-world flight tests. One of the main concerns about the Lilium jet architecture has always been the aircraft's ability to achieve flow attachment, as the electric ducted fans are integrated into the rear of the wings. Lilium's technology demonstrator airplane recently achieved transition on the main wing for the first time. Transition represents the technically challenging phase between vertical lift and the highly efficient wing-borne lift. It's the most difficult maneuver that an EV tall aircraft can undertake. Matthias Mayner, chief engineer and co-founder of Lilium explains. Generally speaking, transition is considered the transition from hovering, so vertical flight, to horizontal flight. On a flight physics level, the transition is really when the flow attaches on the top of the flap. So before that, the flow that goes over the flap is turbulent, detached, and then at some point it becomes smooth and actually follows the shape of the flap. And that's when we say, okay, the flow has now attached, and that's what we call transition. And that is visualized then by the tufts. When the, the flow attaches, the tufts become perfectly straight. The successful performance of the main wing transition is a significant validation of the flight physics models and the overall technological approach of Lilium. This novel architecture characterized by its ducted fans gives Lilium some notable advantages compared to other EV tall concepts at the expense of higher battery requirements, which very often leads to misconceptions when trying to assess the aircraft's performance potential. A common error is evaluating Lilium's battery capabilities using automotive cell standards as a reference point. These standards, 
based on generic or outdated cell technologies. Ignore current cell innovations. From a battery performance perspective, finding a battery cell able to supply Lilium's mission profile requirements represents a real challenge. A suitable battery cell needs to deliver a high average specific power of 2,500 watts per kilogram for a short 10-second vertical takeoff, deliver high specific energy to maximize mission range, and deliver a high average specific power of 2,500 watts per kilogram for the 45-second landing phase. After more than two years of collaboration with Senlabs, developing and refining an optimal cell technology for the Lilium Jet, Lilium engineers selected a high silicon anode and high nickel cathode lithium ion battery cell. Generally, lithium ion cells have been able to achieve either high specific power or high specific energy, but not both. A commercially available, state of the art, high power cell is shown in black. A commercially available, high energy cell is shown in red. And Lilium's choice, the Zenlab cell is shown in green. The advantage of the Zenlab cell is its combination of both superior specific energy and specific power capabilities. The Lilium cell surpasses both the specific power capability of the high power cell and the specific energy capability of the high energy cell. These impressive performance results were validated by a third-party testing laboratory. The cell is able to support the stated power during the entire discharge at each tested state of charge. They demonstrated that the Zenlab cell can maintain a high specific power of 2,500 watts per kilogram even down to 20% state of charge. When applying this cell technology to the new aircraft design, the projected performance is physical range of over 250 kilometers or 155 miles at operational empty weight, assuming short duration vertical takeoff and landing. Operational range of around 175 kilometers or 109 miles, assuming a vertical takeoff at maximum takeoff weight and vertical landing such that a 20% state of charge remains following the landing. During real-world operating conditions, landings might need to be reattempted, and range reserves are required. The addition of a traditional landing gear gives pilots a backup option of a short running landing. Before starting the vertical landing, sufficient energy reserves remain for the aircraft to divert to an alternate landing site and perform a short running landing if needed. The lower power demand of this type of running landing allows more cell energy to be accessed than would otherwise be possible with the higher power vertical landing. Lilium states that the forward landing capability will be rarely used, and it serves to give customers additional reassurance of safety. The development of Lilium's battery cell technology is ongoing, and further evolution of this cell technology is likely to be used in the final production aircraft as a means to improve operational performance while meeting safety and scalability requirements.